Prince Harry was seen with a beaming smile as he attended the U.S. Grand Prix, an event he's passionate about, although he was noticeably without his wife, Meghan Markle. The Duke of Sussex, known for his love of Formula One racing, took the opportunity to explore the Mercedes garage in Austin, Texas, accompanied by his sizable entourage, as witnesses observed. In a surprising turn of events, Meghan, an American herself, was absent from the track, while Harry sported a black polo shirt and stylish dark sunglasses. This comes on the heels of Harry and Meghan displaying signs of tension following their return from a romantic weekend getaway in the Caribbean, as noted by body language expert Judy James. James described their body language as distant and lacking the usual post-holiday glow. Returning to the racing event, Harry's initial cheerfulness was dampened when he faced a crowd protest, seemingly looking for attention while being largely ignored. An interesting video clip shows Harry wearing headphones, his pupils appearing small, and displaying fidgety behavior. Despite his attempts to appear engaged and thoughtful, his true understanding of the racing event may be limited. Better up assisted Harry in securing a ticket to the event, further indicating that his presence wasn't based on genuine interest. This wasn't the only instance of Harry facing some unwelcoming moments recently. At the Rugby World Cup, kids playfully compared him to South African rugby player Stephen Kitzhoff, humorously suggesting that Stephen is the better ginger. Kids holding up such signs showed their preference for Stephen over Harry. This light-hearted trolling continued when attendees at a recent event held signs asking Catherine to divorce William and marry one of them instead. This is a clear indication that the Harkles may not receive the warm welcome they anticipate if they decide to move to South Africa. The perception of Africa in Harry's mind seems to stem from a colonial perspective, influenced by the luxurious places where he's accustomed to staying and people waiting on him hand and foot. However, this perception may not align with the reality of living in Africa, where toughness and resilience are often necessary. The Harkles' actions have strained relationships to the point where living in places like Australia, South Africa, or the South Pacific Islands could be problematic. It seems they have severed many potential connections and may find it challenging to settle in various parts of the world.